Hi, I'm James, and in this video I am taking a look at replacing the hard drive in this HP Pavilion 15 N290SA laptop. So, first of all, we need to... So, that switched already over, and by pushing this, we can release the battery. Next up, this centre screw here. Now all the screws in the base of this laptop are the same. So first of all the optical drive. So yeah, because these are all the same we can just mix them up and put them back into the positions. So I'm going to go round the base. Easiest way to get these out is just to undo them and then tip the laptop just to let them drop out. He says. There's quite a few screws just in the base here. These ones along the front here, what we can actually do is unscrew them and then because it's tapered we can just lift them out. Back corner. The alternative way of these, sometimes you can get the spudger in underneath, not that one though. This one here. Okay, now this screw here holds in the keyboard, so we're going to release that one as well. Then the memory cover. This gives you access to the wireless card and the memory, but annoyingly not the hard drive. So lift that out. We don't need to worry about unplugging the wireless card or the memory as we're just going for the hard drive, but we do have an additional three screws under here which need to come out. Obviously if you're taking out, say, the main board, you'd need to remove this memory and the wireless card there, but it's not something I need to worry about today. Okay, I'm just going to tip these out. Two. And again, these are the same size screws as the rest of the base of the chassis. And then we do have three screws here, which are a different type, so these are sort of flat short screws, so we'll take those out. These are normally hidden by the optical bay. And with those removed, now we're ready to flip the laptop over. So turning this over, and we want to open up the screen, and we want to take our spudger and just push in along the top of the keyboard and get that in there so we can work along and release the keyboard fixings. And with that done, lift the keyboard up and over and then lift the latch there to release the cable for it. We'll put that out the way. Now in here we have one, two, 
three, four, we're missing one, one, two, three, four, five screws. So we're going to remove these. Again, these are the same size, but they're shorter than the, uh, the ones from the base. So we're going to put them over there separately. Okay, and with those removed, now we just want to unplug the touchpad and power button. So just simple little pop-up connectors there. And then what we need to do is get our spudger in between the silver and grey plastic to begin releasing the base of the laptop. Sorry, the, the top of the laptop, sorry, from the base. So by going around with this, we can release all the clips. Having got round there, we should just be able to lift that panel out now. And this gives us access to the internals of the laptop. Um, obviously, if we wanted to do anything with the cooler, then it's going to be mainboard out, in which case we'd have needed to remove the RAM and other bits. As I'm only interested in getting to the hard drive today, though, I need to release this daughter board clip and the easiest way I've found is then to take this single screw out from the daughter board for the USB and sound and your little LEDs and lift that out because it's also clamping down the hard drive um, so trying to keep that in place and lift it can cause some problems as you'll start to bend the board which we don't really want to do then if we can just get in under the hard drive, just tilt the screen to stop it falling backwards, unplug it, and that is our drive removed, and now we're going to fit a replacement drive in here and get this system back up and running. I hope you found this video useful, and be sure to check out the rest of the content on my channel, and subscribe if you want to keep in touch with what we do. Thanks for watching.